How's it going? How you doing? I'm doing good. I'm feeling good. I just came home from work and I was like, you know what? I got to make a video. You know? Just saying. Just have to throw it out there. You know? Okay. <laughs> Anyways, as you see, I did the majority of my makeup. So all that's left to do are the eyes. So let's get to it. All right, guys, let's start the eyes. So I'm going to use the Vault Palettes, Jaclyn Times Morphe in Armed and Gorgeous and Dark Magic. So Armed and Gorgeous, really quick, looks like that. It comes with a little mirror too. And then Dark Magic looks like that. Ooh, baby. So we're going to go into Dark Magic first. I'm going to start with Poof. You know Poof, a little Dark Magic? Poof, poof. We're going to start that as a base on the lid. Well, this is a perfect shade. At least for me. It's always so hard to find a regular base natural shade because it's either too peachy or it's too orange. It's not nude. You know what I'm saying? And there's different types of nudes. Don't get me wrong. Not everyone's nude is going to be the same. Oh, sorry. I'm taking a flat brush by the crown. I'm just taking the flat edge of that brush, pressing it in, tapping it off, and just in padding motions across the lid okay good I'm gonna take my Morphe M506 brush and I'm going to go into this taupey grayish brown and I'm just gonna go in the crease like so to just define it Mmm, I like this. I'm liking you so far, Dark Magic. I personally love all of her palettes. This is my first time trying the Dark um, Magic one because I've been using the other ones a lot more. Because I feel like these tones are more like earthy Christmas vibes I get from this palette, New Year's Eve also, but it's still a beautiful palette. I know a lot of people have been like on the fence about the palettes and all that, and I'm like, you know what, to each their own, not everyone's going to like everything, you know, and that's the important thing. Just because I like it doesn't mean you're going to like it. So it's just better to try it yourself and then just return it if you don't like it. And if it works out, great. If it doesn't, great. You get your money back and you get, you either save it for when you see something that's worth more, I mean, worth that money, or you go out and try another product. And if you don't like that one, return it. It's, you know, just make sure you have your receipt. You don't want to not have your receipt and then all that stuff. Okay, so we're just doing wiper motions we're doing short and long so short would be like this long would be dispersing it all over the eye socket okay. don't mind me I, I like to raise my eyebrows when i'm doing because of the doing eye looks because of the hood, hoodedness of my eyes <laughs> so instead of me doing this which isn't the best guided way for me to do my eyes because with hooded eyes, it's better to look straight on. So then you can really map out where you want the product to go. You can look down by all means, but don't forget to look up so then you can really see what you're doing. You know? So we're going to take Mojo from the same palette. Leviosa. I, I know I just butchered it. Don't kill me. I know my friend Sam's going to kill me for that. She's going to be like, Maria, that's not how you do it. 
Sorry, Hermione. Um, what was I looking for? Oh yeah, that trick I taught you guys last week. If you didn't know about it, and if you didn't get to watch that video last week, I'll show you again this week. I mean, I'll show you again now. And essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the flat edge of my shadow insurance uh, primer, eyeshadow primer. I'm going to lay it against my eye so that I can map that perfect cut. And this all depends on your eye preference, how you want it to look. So I want it more winged out. I'm getting that, as my boyfriend likes to say, cat eye effect. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> hey ladies, if, or men, whoever, if your partner is trying their best to learn makeup and throwing all these different terms at you and all that, you know, be proud of them because you know what? They're doing it because they love you. They're showing that interest in what you love. Also probably making fun of you for it, but <laughs> like when I told him about baking, he was like, what, a cake? I was like, no, not a cake. <laughs> oh my God. So his famous words are, oh, you're doing a cat eye, right? Is that what your eye looks like? <laughs> sure, honey. <laughs> with certain things, I'll definitely correct. Because, you know, if he's going to come with me to events or if he's going to talk about, you know, makeup and all that in front of certain people, I'm going to be like, listen, honey, you know, you got to, like, know what you're talking about. You got to, like, you know, I'm training you. Because then I'm training him also for future videos. Because I want him to one day do my eye make my make my whole face. So, honey, I said in a video, and now it's set in stone. You gotta do my makeup. My boyfriend does my boyfriend does my makeup challenge. Ah! I'm low key excited. I'm I'm excited. You know, he says he watches my videos and he references. So his favorite thing when I when I used to use it. I use it here and there is the Hourglass Mineral Veil, Mineral Veil Primer. That's his go-to <laughs> to everything, even though I use a completely different primer at the moment. And he's just, he's the best. What can I say? I'm very lucky. What's this? Ooh, small shade of brush by Luxie. Give it to me. This is the 245 Luxie brush. And we're going to go in with Mojo and just... Uh, shade the lower eye. And I'm going to get as close to the lash line as possible. Because I don't want it to be a thick line. So I'm just going back up here real quick. So... I'm like really feeling this look and I want to have like that eyeliner, no eyeliner effect. So what I'm going to do is where you would place the liner is where I'm going to place the eyeshadow. So it's not so standout-ish, but you can like, you know, like I don't know how to explain the vibe. I, I'm just feeling all different vibes today. I just, mm, I'm feeling this cool tone, smoky look. You see the difference? You don't have to do this step. I'm just doing it because I'm just really feeling it. <laughs> I really love this color. It's just so, like, it's so gorgeous by itself like this. Even, you don't even have to smoke out the bottom if you don't want to. It's just all based on preference. And I'm just trying to get as close, as I said before, to the lash line as possible. Okay, so eyeliner. So I'm going to take the, I think it's pronounced Kajal Vasanti Waterline Eyeliner Intense in Intense Black. 
looks like this came in my ipsy glam bag a few months ago and i'm just going to line this over here hey guys i'm back so i decided to do my lashes off camera what i did was i used the duo glue this is the clear one right yeah the brush on adhesive with vitamins the clear eyelash adhesive or eyelash glue and then i used one of my favorite pair of lashes the ones by Le Celine in astara Ugh. and yeah guys that is the complete look and all of the products that i used in this video will be in the description box down below thank you for watching supporting liking sharing the video all that jazz it really means the world to me and i hope you love this look as much as i do i hope you all have a great day see you soon Bye-bye.